Hi guys, it's 10 to 11 on the 10th of August 2012 and this is not my Camp Nano update. My Camp Nano update will come later today but I figured I'd get the task out there now and then do my Camp Nano update later on so that it's not all clumped into one video which will be long and boring. So my task for today is to talk about subplots. Now in my novel A New Lease of Life what I've tried to do is link all my subplots together and each subplot builds on the previous one to form what I like to think of as the foundation for my main plot. For example my character Rupert Blackaby ends up in a mental hospital. That's not the main plot, that's a subplot, but it builds up to the main plot. Another subplot is that Rupert Blackaby ends up in the hospital after an accident at work, which then leads on to the next subplot and the next until finally reaching the main one. I find that people deal with subplots very differently. For example, some people like to have a subplot at the start of the novel, which isn't resolved until the end of the novel, whereas other people like me have their subplots build up and up and up and form a foundation for the main plot. So how do you deal with subplots? Do you have lots of little subplots which don't mean anything and they're of little importance? Or do you have subplots that build on each other? Let me know down below or in a video response. I love watching them and check back later on for a Camp Nano update. <laughs> 